Hello everybody, I am Dr. Chandranath Tiwari. I am an MCH neurosurgeon, specialized for brain and spine surgery. I am the owner of the reputed Highland Super Speciality Hospital, which is placed at the working center of Thane, which is at Kapar Pawadi Kolshet Road, just behind D Mart. We are a 50 bedded setup and we are catering for the last five years successfully multiple brain and spine related cases with really reasonably good and patient satisfying results. Today on this occasion I would like to discuss with you a topic which is a kind of a nightmare if somebody comes to know about it that he has a tumor or he has a swelling in his spine and spinal tumor I mean to say once a person hears about it, he just gets so frightened, so afraid that he just wants to get the best of the opinion and consultation and the best treatment possible so that he can get rid of it. So let us start about the demography of the spinal tumor. Demography is like which areas you find spinal tumor more common geographically. So in India, the incidence is quite low as compared to Western countries, but still the cases are on the rise, especially in urban area where the diagnosis tool have become easily available. People with backache, when they are screened on MRI, we find 10% of them to be having spinal tumor. It is more commonly seen in young males as compared to females and it is between the age group of 20 to 50 years. Now, what are the symptoms? How will you think that you have a spinal tumor? Like what brings to the mind of the surgeon or the doctor that you have a spinal tumor. It's like the patient will have an unexplained backache of an enormous intensity. He will be not to be able to sit, he will not be able to sleep and it will he will have a disturbed sleep. Especially nighttime pain which disturbs the sleep and which is localized to the back and sometimes shooting down your legs or shooting down your hands or sometimes shooting down all the way to your chest and spine region this is very classical of the pain what a person with spinal tumor have. Now you will say that similar kind of a pain a person will have when he has a disc problem, when he has any other spine problem, he has a pain which is localized to the spine and it radiates down the area where the nerve is going. Yeah, it's true, it's correct. So that is what I was saying that every pain what a person gets in the back, in the back is not spinal tumor. It can be because of muscle spasm. It can be because of disc prolapse. But it is a very horrendous sight when a person comes to know that he does an MRI and he finds out that the reason is such a big reason that he has a spinal tumor. That is the time when he starts seeking opinion and that is the time among the spine surgeons, he searches for a spine surgeon who can handle a tumor and that is where he reaches a neurosurgeon. So we as a neurosurgeon, how do we tackle the case of spinal tumor? I mean to say that is why we are here to discuss today. So when a patient comes to me after thoroughly listening to all his complaints and coming to a clinical conclusion that he is having some kind of a spine problem, the first test which we try to run is an MRI, which is a plain MRI along with contrast. In a plain MRI with a contrast, usually you get to know where the tumor is, what's the size of the tumor, what are the tumor dimensions and to what all important structure the tumor is touching or engulfing. So for example, if the patient has a tumor in the neck that is cervical area, he will have symptoms which are from cervical spine and below. It will be pain symptoms, weakness symptoms, symptoms related to temperature variations. Similarly, if the patient has the cervical uh, thoracic spine tumor that is in the chest area, he will have symptoms at this level and below. And when it comes to lumbar spine that is the cumbar area, the cumbrids are problem musculature, then he will have sim symptoms which is related to lumbar spine and below. So that is how clinically we also localize which area we have to ask the MRI for. And similarly, once we pick up that there is a spinal tumor, that is the time we start classifying spinal tumor as everybody wants to know, okay, sir, is it a cancer? So then we start classifying it. What is a spinal tumor? So spinal tumor, if you ask me, let us classify in this way that there are two types of spinal tumor. One is a spinal tumor which is a tumor of the spine but not related to the nerves and one which is related to the nerves. Now you will say what is this? So I will say a spine is formed 
because of the vertebral column that is bone then there is a covering of the nerve that is called as dura and then the nerve itself so the tumor which is arising from the bones though they are spinal tumor they are not related to neural tissue the tumors which are arising from the covering of the nerves that is dura though they are spinal tumor but still they are not from the nerve tissue so these two tumors are non neural spinal tumor then comes tumors which comes directly from the spinal cord or from the nerves itself like neurofibroma glioma of the spinal cord ependymoma of the spinal cord now these are the tumors which are inside the bone inside the covering of the spinal dural uh, spinal column and inside this inside the inside the spinal cord itself so these are called as intramedullary tumors now you will ask why it's such kind of a classification it helps in your treatment how because if it is a bony tumor the job is done in a different way when the tumor is arising from the covering of the spinal cord the job is done in a different way and when it is from the spinal cord or the nerve itself believe me it requires a lot of finesse in working it requires a lot of delicacy in handling the tumor seeing that there is no added damage to the nerves in which the tumor is contained so these are the way we plan the treatment depending upon the classification of the tumor now some people are worried whether it is a cancer very true so there are tumors once we remove the tumor we send them for a histopathology and histopathology gives us a diagnosis whether it's a grade 1 tumor 2 tumor 3 or 4 tumor and which i think so as in general knowledge everybody knows the higher the grade the bad is the tumor i mean to say the grade when it is higher it is more cancerous a tumor lower the grade the tumor is more benign but this can be only confirmed or say it can we can get a slight idea on the mri but the major confirmation or the final confirmation is only and only on histopathology that is hp or biopsy now there are means of tackling spinal tumor how do we tackle it so what as i said clinical examination followed by diagnosis using an mri then classifying it clinically and mri wise and then planning a surgery we are doing all the spinal tumors in our hospital under microscopic surgery we use microscope which is a high end like a microscope which we use at our center and we do all surgeries under microscope and we remove the spinal tumor our success rate is almost 96 to 97% in 2 to 3% cases definitely we have achieved an underrated results i mean to say either the patient symptoms remain what it is or slightly they have worsened but never we have got any patient who has developed any kind of paralysis post tumor removal but 97 patients percent patient of us they have done excellently well you know i mean to say they have performance post surgery walking by sensation wise and in general their fitness and health everything has gone definitely much better after the more of tumor surgery now when you say whether we use laser yes of course for some tumors we use laser we use endoscopic means that is a minimally invasive approach where we can go and we can remove the tumor very rarely very rarely when the tumor is stuck up to very important structures we have to abandon the minimal invasive approach and we have to make it an open approach because you all will agree a cut which is 1 cm or a 5 cm does not matter what matters is the intactness of the neural system right now there are certain times when the tumor is very very adamant tumor it's a very very tough tumor which is stuck up to the surrounding structures this is the time when we have to shun our ego and we have to go for safe maximum removal of the tumor we can't excise the tumor in total and we go for a tumor removal which is safe for the rest of the nerves and the remaining tumor we try to handle by using other means like gamma knife cyber knife or radiation methods chemotherapy per se has got very little role in spinal tumors except for lymphomas where we definitely use steroid as one of the methods to decrease the size of tumor after the surgery and after the definitive radiation treatment in any neuro case you require to have a good rehab care which involves post operative care dressing of the wound getting patient back to life by doing physiotherapy and also taking care of his psychology allowing him not to go into depression where the role of the family and the person's own psychological build up comes into play i dr chandranath tiwari will definitely be available at highland and will like to provide best of my services 
for any of your spinal tumor cases and believe me, we'll give you fantastic results. Thank you very much.